Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, cut the tape. And that's gonna be the intro to the show, okay? So one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> Welcome to Cut the Tape. We are back from a little hiatus. Uh, today I'm in the back room of my frame shop. Uh, and the reason I'm in the back room of the frame shop is because for the first time ever, I got four. Four. One, two, three, five, no. Four boxes from Big Bad Toy Store. I, I didn't realize, like, I, I'm that guy that, like, hey, your 90 days are up. These are about to ship. And then I hit, oh, okay, ship it all. So, like, I forget what's in those boxes. And probably what's going to happen is I'm going to open the boxes, take one or two things out, put everything back in the boxes, and then put those boxes away for a couple years. I mean, because that's that's the the issue right time time management at least i'm opening the boxes because for a while i would just get boxes from my pile of loot and they would just stack up all the way to the top of the garage and i have like a i got a very tall garage so all right let's um let's start yeah let's start with the baby box all right Yes, cutting the tape on the box that's shipped in does count. So I'm going to take everything out of the box and put it here on my mounting press. All right. It appears this box is just one item, which I have no recollection ordering. Got a cool Big Bad Toy Store sticker to put on my uh, uh, sander downstairs. I just, I cover the thing with stickers. I have no idea what this is. This is Earth Mode Optimus Prime Plastic Model Kit Series. Is this a model kit or is the figure assembly? I know it's a. You know what? I I'm just going to open it. I mean, it looks really detailed, right? I really hope I don't have to put this together because it just means it's going to sit there for even longer. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is, I got to put this, oh, oh. Mm, yeah. This is, this is a big old model kit. Oh, and it's unpainted. Oh. Uh, uh. This is something that is, um, you know, 30 years from now, people will be like, who has an unbuilt model kit of that Optimus? I'll be like, I do. Because I wasn't building it. I love to build my model kits. But uh, I've never built anything like that. Nor do I have the time. Or patience. I can barely sit through a Lego set. It's not because I have a short attention span. I just... My hands hurt. It hurts to transform things with my hands. Because I'm getting old. And because of arthritis. All right, another sticker. Oh, so this box is just two items. So we went from a box of one item to a box of two items. Plushy Optimus. It's uh, made in Vietnam. Club Moki Moki. 
large. Grande. So there's the Optimus and uh, Here's the BB. Not as, uh, not stuffed as well as I think they should be. I mean, they, maybe they're just more pillowy. Like my, my girls have that, um, squish delish stuff. And, uh, it's like, they're, they're a little harder. So you can see, I do have in the back room, I have a lot of frame transformer stuff. So there's, there's a few things. All right. My whole back room is just decorated with frame transformers art. All right, so now we got a big old box. Got a big old box. They're uh, paving the road outside my house, my uh, store today. So ain't no customers coming in today, baby. Oh, oh, look at this. They sent me two stickers. All right. What do we have? We have a Optimus Prime MDLX, uh, the action figure, right? I saw these on display at TFCon. Very cool. I have the Bumblebee, I have the Nemesis on order, and I have the Cliff Jumper on order. Have not had a chance to open them. These model kits are really cool. They're, they're non-transforming model kits. In fact, I don't think there is a transforming model kit other than like the little Kabaya ones. They show a whole bunch of Autobots on here, which there's no model kits for. I definitely hope they make them. Ratchet, Ironhide, Wheeljack, Brawn. Uh, these model kits are very tiny when you assemble them, but it's a cool little action figure. It's like a three and three quarter inch action figure. Very, very cool. I've put together the Soundwave and the Bumblebee. Very happy with them. Oh, uh, Pred Alien. It's the Hyatt Toys figure. Love Hyatt Toys. Love Hyatt Toys. Let me tell you something. I love Hyatt Toys. This is the Megatron mouse pad. More stuff for the license. To get. Oh, okay. And there's a lot of non-transformer stuff in here. This is the San Diego Comic-Con bat. This is the Arctic bat or the glow in the dark blue bat. It's the blue bat. I haven't gotten the other figures yet. So this is the first Joe one I've gotten from Super 7. So we'll, we'll check that out. I got Turtles Ray Filet. Krang. I'd like to have a dog named Krang. Sewer Samurai Leo, which I think is great that they're doing like the other non-core turtles. Undercover Wrath, which was a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. And not, I don't know if that was an original turtle. Slash was one of my favorite turtles growing up. I had him, Slash. He's stuck. Got a lot of turtles going on. Oh my my my. Mouser five pack. Should probably have bought a few of those. Scratch because you know five hundred dollars for a loose vintage scratch. It's a lot easier just to pay 40, 50 bucks for that one. Ooh, this is a thick box leatherhead. Cajun alligator. See. And Sewer Surfer Mike, another vintage turtle I had as a kid. So I don't, I don't collect Marvel and DC except I do. Only specific characters. This is one of those characters that I'm like, yeah, I gotta have this. This is the apocalypse. And um, ooh, I really want to open this. I really, really want to open this to put on my He-Man shelf. And uh, it's just really cool the way it's carded. I think I'm gonna have to open that. I think I'm gonna have to cut the tape on that. Transformers Mini Mates and the card is bent. So I guess, you know, I have another one. 
So I guess this is the one I'm going to open because it's damaged. It happens. It happens. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to return this to Big Bad Toy Store because it's got a little bit, you know, look how much stuff is in the box. You know, the stuff is packed pretty well. I'm not going to complain over that. Uh, Nen Nendoroid? Nendoroid series? So this is the Nemesis. I don't go for the cute stuff, so I'll probably never open this. I'll, I, I, I probably will open the regular Optimus Prime version. Perceptor from uh, the uh, that's not Legacy that's um, Studio Series. This is uh, oh just a little you know I'm a big huge Back to the Future guy so this is DeLorean. I love Back to the Future. This is uh, um, product number one seven nine three, also known as Megatron. MBE one. Masterpiece Generation 2 Brawl, also known as Probus. Probus? Probus. 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 He's Probus. And gold plated pin set. Transformers 24 karat gold plated pin set. G.I. Joe 24 karat gold plated pin set. Yeah, we'll take a look at those. Let's go on to the last box. This is the heavy box. Oh. Ooh. So I don't know if this is the most I've ever gotten from Big Bad Toy Store. It's definitely the most boxes I've gotten. What's great about having a storefront is I can have my pile of loot shipped here and not have to sticker explain to anyone else at home what all this stuff is why is it sitting on our doorstep um 40th anniversary he-man i actually found this in the store but uh you know with the, with the these he-man figures i just uh, i buy them and open them but with the 40th one I did get one to open and one to keep sealed. I wish that came carded and stuff. A little Decepticon pillow. Yeah, very soft, very like Autobot version, but like I feel like this should be filled more. Oh, cool. Um, Cyclonus and Nightstick. And Cyclonus and Nightstick. And uh, Cyclonus and Nightstick. And who the hell is this? Oh, uh, DK3 Breaker. Yes. Gotta love that He-Man. I waited for this one to go on sale. I gotta find out when that uh, Snake Mountain gets clearanced out for Mega Bloks. I, I can't pay. I probably will end up paying 300 bucks for it. Um, I love Hearts of Steel. When I was at Hasbro, I tried pitching to the design team a train set. Optimus would be the locomotive. There was Ratchet, who would be retooled into Ironhide. Bumblebee would be retooled into Cliffjumper. The Insecticons. There was the Shockwave one. Uh... Nobody thought trains were cool or that doing a retro toy line because I also included like a lot of cars from the 70s from like that G.I. Joe. I think it was Devil's Do G.I. Joe Transformers where like the Transformers went back to like the 1970s and Jazz was like just a really cool uh, vintage car. This is uh, J. Balvatron, which is the yellow. So I just needed a second one to open. Masterpiece Autobot Tenseg base. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is the, uh, oh, those are those little stands. Those three little stands. Look, they come in a box. How about that? They come in a box. I didn't know that. Gargoyles. Definitely go with my He-Man stuff. Gonna mount these guys all over my Castle Grayskull. 
Hudson. Speaking of He-Man, Tila. So these ones, these vintage style ones, I buy one of and I just keep them sealed. I, I already have the vintage original ones. I don't need to buy ones with more articulation. I'm just gonna, you know, buy them, leave them in the box. They look nice in the box. Oh, train, train, train bot. This is Masters of the Universe. <laughs> This is for the store. We're about to open this right now. This is going display right here in my store. <clears throat> oh, sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I would not drink out of this because you're going to get drunk and slam this down and you're going to break it like a dumb animal. So, I have this giant 100-year-old uh, glass case in my storefront where I keep just like various interesting items that are not for sale. That's going to go in there. Masters of the Universe cookie jar. Um, I already have a Castle Grayskull on display, but I feel like this is different enough. Like, I have a Castle Grayskull statue from, like, 10, 12 years ago that's on display on my my counter. Uh, Optimus Prime Tenseg base. Oh, this is the base for Optimus? So this is the Optimus base. That's the Autobot Decepticon base. I want to open this up. And this is premium, I think this is Ratchet, SS05. Or Rache, as he's called. Let's open up Transformers Masterpiece, Optimus Prime Tenseg base. Because these are going to be the purple and the red bases. So what is this? Oh, does it have an Optimus Prime in it? Oh, it does. So it's got a premium finish Optimus Prime. And it's got its own base, which is gray. So what's cool is like, you ever see those Lego sets where uh, they do the chains and like, it's the like, the uh, tension of the chains and the way they're positioned hold the base up like it's floating. I didn't realize that's what this was. I thought it was just like, hey, they're just showing you the base connects. But it's actually one of those things where like, there's wires and the tension of those wires and how they're placed holds up the base. So it looks like it's floating. That's pretty cool. All right, do I really need another one of these Optimuses open though? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but you know, I mean, it's called cut the tape. Do, we, do I really need another one of these freaking Optimus Primes open? I mean, God damn. One is enough enough, you know? Like one is enough enough. I mean, I've got all the other premium figures open. So I might as well. It's too late now. I mean, I just cut the tape. But... Oh, this is not coming off the tray. Yeah, screw that. This is staying on the tray. I will remove the figure, but I will not take the space apart and assemble it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's look at the figure. I do regret opening this. I mean, he's very, you know, it's very nice color-wise, but I just, that's just one of those dopey figures. You know, he's got a little bit of Santa Prime in him. 
callback to uh, Energon, if you know what I mean. Speaking of Energon, uh, so today is uh, Tuesday, and the Santa, the official Santa Prime, just went up on Hasbro Pulse, and uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not particularly excited to get a Christmas styled Santa Prime because it's very um, Hess trucky to me. Like, instead, like it should have been like the Hess truck should have just been Optimus Prime. Like the two, like Hess and Optimus Prime and Transformers collaborate, and the Hess truck for 2022 is Optimus Prime. That's kind of like I feel what I feel they should have done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah def definitely. Definitely should have done that. Um, yeah. Well, anyway. Um, I have a bunch of Big Bad Toy Store stickers now. Um, text me or send me your comments on what tape I should cut and things. And I will maybe send you one of these if I care. Um, but, hey, you know what? Let, let, we are going to open something else. Let's open these guys. I did a panel at TFCon this year on odd licensed goods. And I think it's, it's, it was the panel Friday night to start off the show. It went very well, so I asked Colin, who runs TFCon, I'm like, Colin, can I do that Friday night panel and do an oddities panel every year, for like, from now on? And he's like, yeah, I guess. And I can probably do that panel, like, 15 years in a row and not repeat myself. Little gold-plated pens for the G of the Joe. Very nice. And for Transformers, right? The box. Gold pleated. It says on the back. Uh, oh, they're numbered. Number 21 of 500. Excellent. And they, the pins do match. It's very nice. That's a premium thing, you know. It's not one of those things I expect every collector to get, no. It's one of those things that's like, hey, you know. Um, you've arrived at a point in your collecting that you can appreciate a pin set that's um, number 206 out of 500 for the G.I. Joes. Do they match? They do match. 206. So, yeah. So, every TFCon, I'm going to be doing an oddities panel where I will show. That doesn't mean that they're rare. It doesn't mean that, you know, they're exclusive to another country. It's just like, here's a weird thing that exists that's officially licensed. Like, I think we started off the panel with Transformers Prime, Transformers Prime, Bumblebee, um, snorkeling set with flippers. That's a thing. It exists. Anyway, this is my giant pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, this is the back room. Thank you very much. And remember to cut the tape and be kind to each other and wash your hands. Get your boosters.